Okay guys, let's try and understand Cartesian and polar coordinates. Cartesian coordinates we have been dealing with. Polar coordinates we have just learned in 11th of it. All right. Basically this is x and y axis, this being the origin. Suppose this is a point on a plane. If we want to represent it by Cartesian coordinates, then obviously this distance is x, so it is x. This distance, this distance is y so it is y done okay now how do we get into polar coordinates now see this point this point i can define it by this and this how much is it away from origin in terms of x-axis and how much is it away from origin in terms of y-axis we can also talk in terms of this distance from origin which is r and at what angle is it from x axis all right so why are that so it could also be r theta and this is what is polar coordinate all right so this point on plane can be defined via x and y x and y and can also be defined via distance from origin this point and the angle that it makes with x-axis all right so we have r and theta as polar coordinates now what's the relationship between polar coordinates and cartesian coordinates let's get into it now this is a triangle right right angle hypotenuse so you know what i'm going to get into cos theta is equal to we know cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse that is x by r so obviously x is equal to r cos theta is equal to x and sin theta obviously is opposite over hypotenuse so this would be r sin theta is equal to y got this so we can correlate x that is Cartesian coordinate as r which is of polar coordinate and theta which is of polar coordinate given for this all right by this now furthermore now if i say x square plus y square is equal to what it would be r square cos square theta let me write it below Now, if I say x square, if I say x square plus y square would be equal to what? It would be x square would be r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta. Obviously, r square we can take it out as common and what remains inside is cos square theta plus sin square theta which is equal to 1 is equal to r square. So, we develop yet another relationship between Cartesian and poor Cartesian and polar coordinates all right so this is one thing if we intend to find a radius obviously if we take root so r obviously would be equal to root of x square plus y square so if we intend to find radius this is what we can do with Cartesian coordinates and for the points for the points x and y we can use this x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta r normally r we we use it also as a radius all right we know we always uh, whenever as i taught you in minute circle we always move this way and this is the radius all right this is the radius all right this is the center okay all right So that's the relationship. So that's about Cartesian coordinate, polar coordinate and relation between them. All right.